How the hell are they, neighborinos? First things first, we don't have a whole lot of notable stories. However, there is one that does come to mind. The HTC Vive team has recently conducted a survey of 1,800 different developers. And in this survey, they found out quite a few different things. First, these developers are worried most about audience adoption. That is to say, is the customer base there for whatever we decide to build? Because this is a relatively new technology, it's, it's understandable that they would be a little hesitant. They don't want to dive in head first, throw in all their resources, all their money, all the manpower necessary to develop a high-end system only for nobody to actually buy the thing and they're stuck owing millions of dollars or however much they spent on the development of this software. The other big thing that they were worried about was lack of hardware. Personally, I don't think that there's a lot of a lot of missing hardware there. Oculus has four different headsets on the market. It's got the basic Rift, the Rift S, the Go, and the Quest, which is also coming out this spring. And then HTC has the the basic Vive, the Vive Focus, the Focus Pro, and those are the only three I can think of right off the top of my head, but there may be another that I can't remember. And even besides those seven different headsets, there are others that you can go out and get for your mobile phone. G video games and headsets you can use to interact with your phones so you can feel like you're actually connected and well you're immersed into that game world that's being projected onto your screen the biggest one that comes to mind is the samsung gear and there's there's one in my closet now it's called the exvr or something i haven't even pulled that out of the box yet but i'm sure the market's there for somebody and on that note, these 80, almost 80% 80 of these developers were, were most excited about the gaming industry. That is, are video games going to be the biggest market for virtual reality? And for them, the answer is yes. Of course, the next biggest section, uh, that one was was said yes to by 65%. That second biggest market was training and simulation. And I guess that the third, which was led by 59%, was education. And finally, the, the one of the only other industries that they were concerned about was film and entertainment. Which actually makes sense that that virtual reality movies would be in there since it, it kind of builds into that whole 3D movie element. But, you know, that that's a, that's a story for another time. Because the, in, because the video game industry is so hot right now as far as virtual reality is concerned, it's likely going to be the biggest place for them to try to market whatever software they want to build. It's going to be a place for them to build themselves and market themselves as a leading competitor. One thing that I am currently looking forward to is new software. And in this upcoming E3 presentation, we may be able to learn about plenty of new software from all of these developers who are excited about this industry. The biggest thing that comes to my mind though, is that this flies in the face of what HTC is considering doing. They have released the HTC Vive Focus, because the, 
let me just say that the their most recently released headset, the Vive Focus Pro, is sitting at eight hundred dollars. These stats are almost identical to those of the Quest, which it was sitting at four hundred dollars. Now I I don't know about you, but if, if I had to take a, a wild guess, then that would that would mean in my eyes that the Quest is going to be the the hotter seller between those two. But you know, my math could be wrong. I could be off a little bit, and you know, I could be a little crazy here. There's there were only a few notable choice a few notable differences here, like. The refresh rate on the Vive on the Vive headset was 75 hertz compared to the Quest 72, and the Vive headset has a 110 degree field, and the Quest has one for 100. So I don't really see the a whole lot of difference there, and the the only real difference between the two headsets is that the the focus plus battery capacity is listed at 4000 milliamp hours depending on how much you use it that could that could equate to maybe an hour and a half that could equate to like four but again that depends on how on how intense you are going to use this headset what you're going to be using it for. Whereas the, the Quest is listed to last between two and two and a half hours up per charge. And pers however, personally, I believe that that's about how long you should be spending on VR anyway. Not three, four, five, or six hours, like two. Two hours per day or whatever on, on virtual reality because you don't want to you don't want to kill yourself on it you know what I mean I believe I've rambled enough on this story though so you know I'll, I'll call this one quits so this next piece of news is a little bit smaller than the last one in case you didn't think that Arizona Sunshine had enough gameplay there is another DLC that's going to be coming out this summer. Uh, this one is considered more of a prequel to the original game. The entire setting of this DLC is going to be set around a special forces team set charged with reactivating the generators of a hydroelectric dam to restore power to a nuclear missile system. And this is all taking place while hordes of angry zombies are still charging at you from the sidelines. And even if that wasn't enough, most of your team is going to be, well, they're, they're going to die in some way or another. And you're going to be left to do this daunting mission on your own. So, if, if you feel like lighting up a nuclear missile site in the middle of a desert wasteland with hordes of zombies coming at you, you know, keep an eye out for that this summer. Again, DLC is called The Damned for Arizona Sunshine. This next bit of news is reserved primarily for PlayStation VR owners. The PlayStation Store is running a PlayStation Plus sale right now, and there are about 20 titles that you can that you can find on sale. This list is going to ex is going to be listed in the description down below, which is itself going to have links to all the games. I'm just going to list the games here, so in the event you want to check them out, you know, check out the link below. First up, we got 18 floors on sale, $9 out of 15. We got Borderlands 2 in VR, 
It's on sale for $37.50 out of the original $50 price tag. We got Code 51 Mecha Arena down to $10 out of the original $20. We got Drone Striker down to $7.50 out of the original $10. We got Gun Club VR down to $12.50 out of the original $25. And six on our list is Guns and Stories Bulletproof VR, down to 12 out of the original 20. We got Knockout League on sale for 50% off, bringing the price down to 15 out of 30. And next up, we got Loading Humans Chapter 1, on sale for $8 out of the original 40. We got Merville's A VR Adventure, on sale for $6 out of the original 20. We got Mortal Blitz on sale for 6 out of the original 20. We got Paper Dolls on sale, bringing the price down to $12.75 out of $17. We got Prison Boss VR down to $12 out of the original 20. This one's a little goofy, but you know. We got Rush VR. That cost is down to $12.50 out of the original 25. We got Sega Genesis Classics down to $21 out of the original $30. We got Super Amazeballs down to $4 out of $5. So, all 20% off. Next up, we've got The Walker. That one is down to $6 out of the original $10. Next up, we got Torn. This one is down to $9 out of the original $30. And next up, we got Unearthing Mars. This one is down to $7.50 out of the original $15. We also have Unearthing Mars 2, The Ancient War. This one is down to $14 out of the original $20. And finally, we have Mind Labyrinth, VR Dreams. This one is down to $17.50 out of the original $25. Again, if any of those sounded remotely appealing, the list with the list with each of those links is going to be in the description down below so you know check check them out if you want to if you're even considering buying them so i believe this is a good place to end the video if you guys liked it let me know if you hated it let me know and as always don't forget to tell me how i'm a horrible human being for giving you all this news ta-ta for now